How are you? Hopefully you will be fine and enjoying the course of life. I am Rana Abdul Rahman and today our topic is to discuss fair house management introduction and its prerequisites. To take full advantage of this free course, please subscribe, press bell icon and watch the session till end. It will help you grab the concepts easily and get most out of it. Agenda for our today's meeting is to discuss about what is fair house management system. What does a generic warehouse management system do? Where does it fit in the overall organization's system? Warehouse management modules in Dynamics 365 and warehouse management processes. The prerequisites for learning warehouse management is general knowledge. You should have some general knowledge of supply chain management. You must have some general knowledge of inventory procedures. You must have some basic knowledge of warehouse procedures. You should have ability to use supply chain management for basic pros processing. A warehouse management system consists of software and the processes that allow organizations to control and administer warehouse operations from the time goods or materials enter a warehouse until the time they moved out. What does a generic warehouse management system do? Warehouses sit at the center of manufacturing and supply chain operations because they hold all of the materials used or produced in those processes from raw materials to the finished goods. The purpose of warehouse management system is to help ensure that goods and materials move through warehouses more efficiently and cost effectively. The warehouse management system handles many functions that enable these movements including inventory tracking, picking, receiving and put aways. Warehouse management system also provides visibility into an organization's inventory at any, any time and location whether in the facility or in the transit. So where does it fits in overall supply chain? The supply chain can operate only as quickly as accurately and efficiently as warehouse processes permits. A warehouse management plays vital role in supply chain management by managing order fulfillment processes from receiving raw materials to shipping finished goods. Let's take an example here. If raw materials are not received properly or parts are misplaced somewhere in the warehouse, the supply chain will be obviously disrupted and slowed down. Order fulfillment take more time than it is required. So the warehouses are critical in ensuring that these processes work smoothly by tracking inventory and making sure that goods are stored and sorted properly as well as shaped and tracked accurately. Now let's have a quick introduction of warehouse management system in offered by Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. The warehouse module in Dynamics 365 FO lets you manage warehouse processes in manufacturing, distribution and retail integration in retail companies. Basically, it's a fully integrated solution. Warehouse management has wide range of features to support the warehouse facility at an optimal level at any time on any device. It is fully integrated with other business processes in the supply chain such as transportation, manufacturing, quality control, purchase, transfer, sales and returns. Now let's have a quick look what it means when we activate where you when we activate a check on warehouse man, warehouse creation page to use warehouse management processes so what those processes are and how what functionality do they add in the warehouse by activating use warehouse management processes the warehouse activated for advanced warehousing will be enabled and integrated with the sales order returns transfer orders production orders and kanban so it will have full support for these source documents. Flexible inbound and outbound material workflow support based on the queries. Full integration with the manufacturing and transportation management. Full control of location stocking limits and location volume metrics. So earlier we were using the inventory management locations. Those are different. But in warehouse you will have much better control over the locations. Inventory properties controlled by inventory status, full batch and serial item support, various item receiving capabilities, multiple picking strategies, out of the box support for next generation of barcode scanners, pallet container types for warehouse processes, 
एडवांस्ड काउंटिंग कैपेबिलिटीज लाइक बिफोर एक्टिवेटिंग वेयर हाउस यू विल हैव टू मैनुअली काउंट द इन्वेंट्रीज बट विद एडवांस वेयर हाउसिंग यू कैन स्केजुअल ऑटो काउंट्स एंड यू कैन मैनेज कंप्लीट कैलेंडर फॉर काउंटिंग लेबल प्रिंटिंग एंड लेबल राउटिंग विद जेब्रा जी पी एल सपोर्ट आफ्टर एक्टिवेटिंग वेयर हाउस मैनेजमेंट लाइक इन एडवांस वेयर हाउस यू विल बी एबल टू प्रिंट कस्टम लेबल्स यूजिंग जी बी एल सपोर्ट बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंट इंटेलिजेंस इंटीग्रेशन इन टू पावर बी आई मैनुअल एंड ऑटोमेटिक मूवमेंट ऑफ इन्वेंट्री विल बी डिस्कसिंग दिस इन डिटेल इन अपरेट सेशन फुली इंटीग्रेटेड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल सिस्टम फुल ट्रेसिबिलिटी ऑफ वर्कर्स मटीरियल हैंडलिंग विद ईच यूजर देर विल बी अजर लोकेशन वेन यूजर पेक्स अ मटीरियल टिल इट पुट्स दैट मटीरियल टू अ स्पेसिफिक लोकेशन द सेम क्वान्टिटी और द प्रोडक्ट विच हैज़ बिन पेक्ड बाय द यूजर विल बी ऑन इट्स ऑन लोकेशन आउट बाउंड वे प्रोसेसिंग मैनुअल पिक पैकिंग एंड ऑटोमेटिक कंटेनराइजेशन सपोर्ट इट्स अ मोर एडवांस टॉपिक क्लस्टर पिकिंग एंड सिंपल क्रॉस टॉकिंग दीज आर सम ऑफ द प्रोसेस विच आर बींग यूज इन डायनामिक्स सिक्सटी फाइव फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन एडवांस वेयर हाउसिंग इफ एनी और सम ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स आर यू आर रिसीविंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स रिलेटेड टू दीज टॉपिक्स सो दोज विल बी कवर्ड इन एडवांस वेयर हाउसिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ सिंपल इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट एंड वेयर हाउस सो वाइल गेटिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स If you got some of these requirements as a as a as a client requirement, like if you got some requirement to support the barcode scanners, if you got the requirement for palletization, if you got the requirements for auto or scheduled stock counts, if you need to print uh, labels for your uh, for your license plates, or you need to automatic move the inventory. Uh, you need outbound processing wave processing uh, support or you need to have uh, cluster picking you need to manually pack and automatic container containerization support so all these will be covered through advanced warehouse thank you for watching it was an introductory session hopefully you have enjoyed that let's have a quick recap initially we discussed a brief introduction of a generic warehouse system then a little bit more detail we have discussed like what does a generic warehouse management system do where does it fits in overall organization system what are the warehouse management processes and introduction about warehouse management in dynamics 365 finance and operations it is a high level but we will be gradually moving towards advanced if you have any for queries or you have any comments please feel free to post in the in the comments below again i have to iterate that to take full advantage of this free training please subscribe and press bell icon so that you sh should get notification for every next video on on this same topic it's an purely integrated fully integrated solution so please make sure to watch all the related parts it will help you grab the concepts easily because if you haven't you don't know what is warehouse then you will not be able to learn about its processes like you will not be able to get understanding of the location directives if you have missed that session you will not be able to like learn about the work templates what what are those and how these will be used and what are the waves you don't know right now what what those topics are so for now you should be able to at least know what is the warehouse and if you have any environment where you can test these concepts you should go to warehouse management there's the last module in finance and operations navigation bar from there you should go to warehouse management and try to explore that what options are available and what we can configure what we can customize what is the parameters tab is saying about so what is the functionality of warehouse how do it support the advanced warehousing and all that so in the next coming sessions we will be at least 3 to 4 sessions we will be covering overall functionality then we will be breaking down it into different pieces 
and beads like we'll be going towards each and every topic and covering that uh, through dynamics finance and operations demo thank you so much have a nice day